What's up, my Frankie Fair family? It's me, Really Great White, back with another creepypasta for you today. This one is called Going Out Like a Champ. It's written by Bernd Schmidt on Reddit. I think you guys will enjoy it. Let's get to it. I've seen horrible things as a police officer. Unspeakable, despicable acts, many which bear not repeating. As a cadet in Williamsburg, Pennsylvania, one of the most crime-ridden towns in the state, I've seen microwave-cooked babies, mothers selling their children for crack, and when I say selling, I'm not talking one transaction, if you get what I mean. The Academy doesn't prepare anyone for the absolute defectless incarnation of evil that is the ghetto, so... I put in for a transfer to a place where cars might not fully stop at a stop sign and some people cheat on their taxes. A small town called Baldwin. Nice town. Nice people. And the destination of the most harrowing incident I've ever encountered. We got a call one night to respond to a home where apparently a young man had told an operator on the suicide hotline that he was going to kill himself with a shotgun before hanging up. His name was Andrew, 25 years old, living with his mother. It was about 2.15 a.m. when his mom came running out of the garage screaming that her son was in the backyard and to please go and help him. Sweet lady, a widow, her son was all she had. As we approached with our flashlights, we immediately drew our weapons when we saw a 9mm in his hands, and then all froze in disbelief when we saw the other thing. Several dozen sticks of dynamite duct taped around his torso, littering his chest and stomach all the way around to his back. His mom hit the floodlights, and we immediately backed up when he started screaming that if we came any closer, he'd shoot himself and in his other hand was a torch. Andrew, Andrew, there's nothing that can be fixed here, buddy. Rethink this, okay? Rethink it? <laughs> he simultaneously laughed and sobbed. What would you do, officer, the day you found out you have prostate cancer? You think I want to just fucking wither away? Just decay into some pitiful skeleton? You found out today! His mother cried. Neighbors began to exit their houses. He lit the torch and ran it across the wicks of the dynamite sticks before either of us could utter another word. He couldn't reach all the way to his back, but a good... Two dozen fuses were on their countdown to obliteration. It was heart-wrenching. We knew there was absolutely nothing we could do but advise and order everyone to go back into their houses. The tension rose unbearably the closer the time barreled to his imminent destruction in the most violent way. It's okay, Mom. It will be quicker and painless this way. Somebody do something! Was all I could scream, but it was over. We got his mother out of the house as the other officers ran for cover. Just behind him was a creek. I remember begging him to climb the fence and jump in. But time was running out. And then he cried out the words, I'm not withering away like my dad. No. I'm going out like a champ. It was in this moment, just before I began backing away, ready to make a run for it, that was the most heartbreaking. For just a moment, but a moment which would define me forever, we locked eyes, and his laughter devolved to worry. He looked down, maybe at his feet, or maybe at the burning wicks, seconds away from explosion. 
and back up to me once more with a pathetic, somber whimper. His whole demeanor changed, and he muttered one sentence before it was all over. I... I think I'm making a mistake. I don't know how that woman still lives in that house or can look out from her deck upon the yard which was once blood soaked in her son's in her DNA and not get the feeling of dying inside 24 hours a day. Or maybe she does. They say suicide is the most selfish act one can carry out. But after this, I say... Tell that to the one suffering. It changed me. Because I still wake up to the sound of that blast and the final split second of regret and I wonder if he'd be alive today had he just went with the treatment. And I'm even more afraid of a God because he was a good kid and if heaven exists, then he's burning in hell. That was going out like a champ. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Burnt Schmidt on Reddit. I'll link this story and profile in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And click that subscribe button if you want to join this Freaky Fear family. As always, I'm Fear the Great White, and you're fucking awesome. I love you all, and I'm out. Bye.